Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at what is SGI GI lamp. However, permit me to call this SGI lamp due to the common factor GI. So before we go ahead, um, the important question to ask yourself is where do you have to care about SGI lamp? Now, um, it is important to appreciate the phenomenal evolution of the mobile core system. From the traditional circuit switch, which are mainly proprietary anyways, because uh, from time to uh, we know that uh, we used to have this part of network called the circuit switch and the packet switch. However, today, most um, traditional circuit switch network has evolved from the proprietary network to a more IP-centric next generation network. This transition has enabled the yield of standardized mobile network architecture such as the EPC, which is Evolve Packet Core, through the support of standards such as the 3PP, 3GPP. Sorry. Overall, networks today have become packet-based with state-of-the-art equipment providing high-scale services that support both voice and data. In fact, according to 3GPP, one of the goals of the EPC was to have a flat architecture where user data or payload will be separated from the signaling network or control network. So that having been said, let's see what does this interface look like. So looking at this architecture, uh, which I got from network-based services in mobile networks. So in order to fully appreciate what this means, uh, let me quickly give you a brief explanation of what GI and SGI means. GI is the interface from the gateway GPRS support node known as GGSM towards the external network or the networks uh, on the PDN or internet. However, that is fully applicable for 2G, 3G networks. Now, talking about EPC, the Evolve Packet Core, we are looking at the LTE 4G networks. That is where the SGI applies. And as you can see from the diagram, the SGI is the interface with, uh, from the packet gateway towards the PDN, that is the packet data network. So that is basically what these two interfaces mean. These are standard net interfaces. However, in general, you can describe SGI LAN as the IP network infrastructure that is immediately on the PDN side of the SGI or GI interface. You can also say it implies to the network interconnected towards the interfaces from the GGSN and the packet gateway. So let's look at if there could be uh, an efficiency of this SGI LAN, how effectively can we utilize the SGI LAN? Remember, the whole idea of EPC net architecture network is to have a flat network where you have the different parts of the network being utilized on a single platform. So, SGI LAN efficiency. There are a couple of ways in which we can achieve SGI LAN efficiency, and these are basically uh, from using an NFV, NFV is Network Function Virtualization, to orchestrate SGI LAN functions. Now, there are key players in the market today who are already looking into this, like Telstra, HP, ALU, F5 Networks. They have some ongoing activity for use case uh, in order to use NFV to orchestrate SGI LAN. Secondly, you can actually use subscriber aware SDN solution on the GI LAN. What does this mean? It means that in other terms, you can begin to think of network slice where you have different content based on software defined networks being utilized towards the GI lab. And we have players like Teleno, Conte Extreme, Skyfire Networks, uh, Red Hat. These guys are working on some activities for this use case. And the last is using a unified converged platform. For example, by combining all layer 4 to layer 7 capabilities. Uh, into a single load, uh, thereby separating their functionality. For instance, like CGNAT, security, and balancing. These three functions can be combined into a converged platform and be separated by convergence. And you begin to ask yourself, why do you bother about this? Why do we need uh, the, SGS, uh, the SGI land to be efficient? Now, there are a couple of benefits to this. And the most important benefit is cost efficient, and it helps you manage your network. For most people in the telecoms industry, you agree with me that uh, converged platform is on the rise because of um, uh, the total cost of ownership, uh, the power consumption, space, 
uh, my O&M manageability. Uh, you begin to look at things like the CERG. Overall, it's important that uh, networks begin to look at how to utilize uh, the SGI lab for efficiency, basically, so that uh, talk of 5G, cloud, and IoT, you begin to understand how you can uh, use uh, things like network slicing to achieve more functionality and more efficiency at a lower cost. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has been informative. And kindly subscribe for your subsequent tech videos. You can also reach me on the email. Thank you.